Wallacious Wallace Sarah Sparkles. Hi everyone, here's Wally now. Wally, what do you have? Your teddy? You want to go on a sleepover? Well, right now, Wally, I don't think we can go on a real sleepover. Oh, don't be sad though. We can go on a pretend sleepover. Yes! Let's build our playhouse and pretend we're going on a sleepover. Yes, you will need to bring your teddy. You like to cuddle your teddy when you go to sleep, don't you? What else do we need? You show me what we need. Ooh. <laughs> your pyjamas. Okay, we'll pack your pyjamas into the bag. What else will we need? Oh yes, that's very important. You have your wash bag, don't you? What's in the wash bag? You have your toothbrush and your toothpaste too. Very good. And one last thing, what is it? Oh, I see. We can't go anywhere without our bedtime story, can we, Wally? No, we'll need to read our bedtime story and it helps us fall asleep faster, doesn't it? Ooh, I've got a song all about a sleepover. We can sing the song before we read the book. Maybe you can join us. I've got my guitar and I'm ready to sing the sleepover song with you. Remember, if you can't go on a real sleepover, it's so much fun to go on a pretend one and use your imagination to pretend you're going. So let's pack those bags and see what we need to put in. You ready? I've got my toothbrush, toothbrush, toothbrush. I'm going on a sleepover. I've got my pajamas, pajamas, pajamas. I'm going on a sleepover. I've got my teddy, teddy, teddy. I'm going on a sleepover. I've got my book, book, book. I'm going on a sleepover. I'm going on a sleepover. We're going to have so much fun. I'm going on a sleepover. Maybe you could come along. Okay, let's double check that bag. Make sure you have everything. Are you ready? You can sing along with me. I've got my toothbrush, toothbrush, toothbrush. I'm going on a sleepover. I've got my pajamas, pajamas, pajamas. I'm going on a sleepover. Do you have your pajamas? I've got my teddy, teddy, teddy. I'm going on a sleepover. Do you have your teddy? Book, 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 I'm going on a sleepover. I'm going on a sleepover. We're gonna have so much fun. I'm going on a sleepover. Maybe you can come along. Now, let's pretend we're at the sleepover. We need to use a quiet voice. Shh. Before we go to sleep, let's sing the song in a quiet voice. I've got my toothbrush, toothbrush, toothbrush. I'm going on a sleepover. Shh. I've got my pajamas, pajamas, pajamas. I'm going on a sleepover. I've got my teddy, teddy, teddy. I'm going on a sleepover. Shh. I've got my book, book, book. I'm going on a sleepover. I'm going on a sleepover. We're gonna have so much fun Going on a sleepover Maybe you can come along Yes, that's right, I'm going on a sleepover Gonna have so much fun Going on a sleepover Maybe you can come along Now it's time to read our book Come with me, we'll take a look and as usual, the book is the wrong way round. Will you help me turn it the right way? Is it like this? No. Maybe like this? No. How about if I turn it like this? That's right. This is how I open my book. Wow, what book have we got today? It's called Dinosaur Sleepover. <gasps> Look, the dinosaur has all his stuff ready to go and the little boy has got his stuff too. They're ready to go on their sleepover. This book is by Pamela Duncan Edwards, illustrated by Deborah Allwright and published by Macmillan. 
What would you do if it was your cousin's birthday and he invited you and Dinosaur to a sleepover party? What if Dinosaur looked puzzled? See him looking puzzled and confused. He's wondering. You'd say, we'll all have fun at the party, Dinosaur. Then everyone gets to stay overnight. Dinosaur didn't know what a sleepover was. What if Dinosaur shook his handsome dinosaur head? Uh-uh. <laughs> and said in a firm voice, a dinosaur can't stay overnight because his family would miss him too much. <laughs> You'd say, that's okay, dinosaur. We can ask Pickles to look after our family while we're gone. Who do you think Pickles is? That's right, it's the little dog. Boy is telling Dinosaur not to worry, that the do dog will look after the family. What if Dinosaur tapped his sparkling dinosaur teeth and said in an anxious voice? See him tapping his teeth? Dinosaurs have to brush their teeth before they go to bed. I wouldn't have my toothbrush with me. You'd say, look, he's looking worried, but you'd say, that's no problem, dinosaur. We'll take our things in our stripy wash bag and we'll put your toothbrush in the pocket in the side. There he is packing the toothbrushes. He has it all figured out. What if dinosaur blinked his bright dinosaur eyes and said in a worried voice, if a dinosaur did go visiting, he'd have to take clean pyjamas. And my pyjamas are in the wash. There he is at the wash. His pyjamas have gone into the wash. You'd say, but you've got two pairs of pyjamas, dinosaur. Your other pair is folded and ready to pack. He has it ready to go. There he is with the pyjamas in his hands. What if Dinosaur made himself very small? See him making himself small? And said in a nervous voice, I'm afraid they'll forget to come for us in the morning. What if we have a sleepover forever and ever? He's really worried. You'd give Dinosaur a huge big hug and you'd say, I tell you what Dinosaur, we'll write a big note and stick it on the fridge and we will say, please pick us up tomorrow at 10. And a picture of Dinosaur and the boy on it too. So no one at home will forget that they have to pick them up. What a good idea. I bet that Dinosaur would wrinkle his bony dinosaur head and think very hard. Then he'd say, OK, and off you go. Look at them going on their scooters. Do you have a scooter? Even Dinosaur has a helmet on. How fun. Off they go to their sleepover. What if you were walking up the path to the party and Dinosaur gave a gasp and cried, oh, I didn't bring Teddy. A dinosaur can't sleep without his Teddy. You'd laugh and say, silly old dinosaur. You put your Teddy in your special bag and his head is poking out the top. <laughs> Can you see it? And I bet Dinosaur would laugh too. You see the two of them laughing. Oh, it's party time. What if you open the door to the party and everyone shouted, hello. Here's everybody ready to party. I bet Dinosaur would smile, his huge toothy dinosaur smile and run to join in all the games. What a fun party. They have balloons and noisemakers, everything. Then you'd all play musical chairs. There they are playing musical chairs. 
and hide and seek. That looks like a fun game. And catch the dinosaur's tail. And lots of other games until the birthday cake arrived. Hooray! Here's the birthday cake. And after your cousin had blown out all the candles, I bet Dinosaur would eat a dino-sized piece of cake. Here he is eating the cake. Oh, yum, yum. When it was time for bed, I bet everyone would chatter and giggle and maybe have a pillow fight. They don't look like they're ready for bed, do they? And then you'd laugh and laugh until you were all so tired, you just had to go to sleep. Oh, look, they're cuddled up, ready to go to sleep on their sleepover. Oh, look at this, they're all snuggled up. What if you were snuggled deep down in your sleeping bag and Dinosaur whispered in his happy dinosaur voice, when it's our birthday, should we have a sleepover party? Then I bet you'd say, great idea, dinosaur. So happy. I really enjoyed that book. Let's let them go to sleep. We'll close the book. And if we want, we can read it all over again on our sleepover. Or we can pick another one to take with us. We can have as much fun on a pretend sleepover as we can on a real one. And when you're having your pretend ones, it means you're ready for the time when you can go on your real sleepover. Remember to sing the sleepover song while you're packing your bag to go. Let's have a look and see who's in my magic bubbles today. Wow. Today in my bubbles, I can see Alva and Cahill. Hi, Alva and Cahill. I hear you love singing along to all of the songs. And I can also see Tim and I can see Kayla. Hi, guys. Keep singing the songs and reading your stories. And now it's time for me to say, Slán gach See you next time. <laughs>